Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Nana Makes Sense uh, Palo Santo sampler haul video to show you. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, again, I'm trying to just get better about diving right into it and not taking forever. So here we have her little uh, business, it's not really one of her business, it's one of her bigger business cards. So it just says, you know, allow two weeks of cure time. It has her uh, email, phone number, website. Um, Hopefully she has her, yeah, she doesn't have her Facebook group or her Facebook on here, but that will all be down below in the description box. Um, I'm so sorry if you hear our laundry going. Our washer is really bad. <laughs> and um, it, honestly, it's like halfway broken at this point. But we're all trying to do our laundry all at once, having to do big loads to go on vacation. So if you hear that in the background or hear other stuff, uh, sorry, there's not much I can do about it. But anyway... We're going to go ahead and dive into it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show off the two things that I received that aren't a part of the sampler. Um, first, we have you want to play a game or you want to play a game. And this is uh, Blood Orange, Marshmallow Fluff, Pink Sugar. If you would like more in-depth thoughts, check out my last Nana Makes Sense haul video. And then we have this beauty, uh, Nana's Bakery. I love her little mini loaves with the cute little embed on them. This one is Bear Claws, Fresh Baked Bread, and Sugar Cookie, I believe. Yes. I'm, I haven't always been the biggest fresh baked bread fan. Honestly, Bath and Body Works' uh, French baguette just kind of ruined it for me, honestly. It has like that, not a sourdough bread note, it just smells sour. But um, I'm starting to realize that I can do fresh baked bread, especially in blends. And I feel like with the Bear Claws, it gives it that, it tones down the yeastiness and the crunchy outer layer of the bread, so to say. And you get more of a greasy fried dough and that sugar cookie. It's not too prevalent, but it does add some slight vanilla sweet sugariness to it to kind of help offset the more quote unquote neutral bakery notes. Whereas you have a really greasy donut with light spices vibe than a fresh baked bread that's just very yeasty plain. Um, so they all kind of come together and just make for a beautiful bakery blend. It's really nice on cold, so I'm looking forward to melting that. Uh, should I start with scent shots? Yeah, I'm gonna go and start with scent shots because there's only four to show. First one we have here is A Good Night's Rest. And this is a blend of sweet lavender, cotton candy, and palo santo. I knew I was gonna love this one, but I didn't know I was gonna love it as much as I do. Just the cotton candy lavender combo is just giving me very much bedtime melt, sweet vibes. But that beautiful Palo Santo just comes in and adds that warm, light, inviting, warm, woodsy scent. This is just giving me like baby room vibes. I've smelt this before. I don't know where, but I think I've smelled something very similar to this before. And I don't know if it was like some kind of shower gel, maybe, or some kind of a baby powder. I don't know. But this just reminds me of something. It's just beautiful. I love the way this smells. So again, for those who have nighttime melts, that is perfect for that. Next up, we have Celtic Cider. This is Apricot, Palo Santo, and Celtic Moon Spice. Good Lord, I love this one so much. This one really does, the Palo Santo in this really does give it like a cider house vibe. Like you walked into a cider mill. I will say this, if you don't like apples, like if apple is just a scent that for whatever reason you cannot do any kind of form of apple, but you want to have a good cider fall, or just a good fun cider scent that doesn't have apple in it, Celtic cider is perfect for you. And the apricot, instead of having as heavy of a mulling spice and cider caramel undertones, it has a more fresh, bright, just fresh and more authentic, I would say. She has a beautiful apricot oil, and I'm very happy to say that because apricot is an oil I wish to see more vendors use. So if any of that sounds appealing to you, I cannot recommend Celtic Cider enough. This one, I love the name. The name just gets me. Here we have the moon's eyes. I just love the bright yellow of this. And this is, that's what it is. It's dragon's blood, black amber, and lavender in Palo Santo. 
Speaking of bedtime melts, if you melt scent specifically for, for bedtime, you need this scent. That black, amber, and lavender just has that beautiful, subtle, powdery lavender, almost like a Johnson & Johnson's like bedtime bath vibe. But then that amber comes in and sweetens it and gives it a more body care feel. It, and that's what amber does tend to do. But that incense -y dragon's blood, very earthy, almost patchouli-like vibe mixing in with that sweet, light, very ethereal, woodsy kind of Palo Santo vibe. They all just come together. And this is very, this reminds me of like a witchy shop. Like there used to be a little store I'd love to stop into uh, down in Buda. And it just always felt like the sweetest incense. And this is what, this reminds me of that store. I love the way this smells, y'all. So this is the moon's eyes. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we have blue fireside. This is a combo that, you know, isn't super, super unique, but I, we wanted to include it because it is just such a classic at this point with Palo Santo blends. This one is marshmallow fireside, Palo Santo, and blue sugar. Mmm. That fire roasted smoldering wood that like the fire side is just starting to go out. I love woodsy scents when they're multi-layered. Like I love it when you can get something like Marshmallow Fireside that has a very almost nondescript kind of woodsiness. Mixing with other scents like Palo Santo or Cedar or Birch. Those are the ones I tend to see most often, but I just love when there's that multi-layered woodsiness and that sweet fire roasted marshmallow and that sweet sugary cologne, almost candy light blue sugar cologne. It just, it all works together and comes together. And some of them are two-toned uh, descent shots and blue fireside. And I believe, yes, a good night's rest is also two-toned. So. That's it for scent shots, and let's go ahead and dive into the little bags. Here we have Enveloped in Lace. This is Vanilla Lace, Palo Santo, and I yes, Crackling Birch. I love Crackling Birch. It is just such a beautiful... I'm sorry, I can hear the laundry being really loud right now, but... This just has such a sweet, sensual... just beautiful scent it's very sensual is the best way I can describe it the crackling birch has that sap like woodsiness and that vanilla lace and I will say this vanilla lace oil that we picked for this one does lean into uh, being very vanilla forward compared to sandalwood ambery musky forward so if you aren't the biggest fan of vanilla lace this might be a good one for you to try since it is a more vanilla forward vanilla lace oil um, compared to, in my opinion, some more common vanilla lace oils having more musky, ambery undertones, this is perfect for you. And the Palo Santo isn't too strong in this one, but it just kind of comes together to bind the two other notes, Crackling Birch and Vanilla Lace together. Haunted Hills. Let me go ahead and spell this one because I get it confused with one of the other ones. I make sure I get it right. Okay, so here we have Haunted Hills in the cute little jack o' lantern shape. This one is Cedar Saffron, Patchouli Cedarwood, and Palo Santo. Jeez, see, I know y'all have to hear that. I know for my life, it cannot just be me. Oh, sorry, I get distracted a little too easily. But the Haunted Hills, again, going back to wanting a deeper woodsy note, this just reminds me of like, you got lost in the woods. This, this is a really good Halloween melt if you want something a little bit a little bit spooky that doesn't have like and the patchouli if you're again if you don't like patchouli this isn't like gonna give you a headache personally it's very cedar heavy to me almost like a cedar closet kind of vibe um definitely a little less so it definitely has more musky earthy undertones but you do get kind of like some cedar chip vibes and that expensive saffron i love cedar and saffron because it makes the blend smell expensive if you told me this is a Tom Ford cologne or something, I would believe you 110%. It's just very layered and it has a lot of depth in the woodsiness to it. Um, 
beautiful, beautiful scent for Halloween, and this would be a really good blender if it is too much for you to blend with another scent like Blue Fireside or Enveloped in Lace. You know, blend those two combos together. Here we have Halloween Nights. I love the little haunted house shape. Halloween Nights. Come on, why do I do this? I don't think this is... Okay, see, I had to make sure I had it right because again, one of these smells very similar. So Halloween Nights is Candy Corn, Buttercream, and Palo Santo. I don't have the notes on me, y'all. I did make all of these, but I don't exactly have them memorized. I make a lot of blends. And that's why this is giving me a similar vibe to something else. It has that honey, vanilla, buttercream. Candy corn, it really just smells like honey oftentimes. Honey, vanilla, if you get a good one. So, I mean, it's pretty authentic. I mean, I love it. I mean, it just reminds me kind of like going trick-or-treating is exactly the vibe it gives off. And it reminds me of another scent that gives me a similar vibe. That's why I get confused. So I'm going to do that one next while it's still on my mind. Here we have Poltergeist. Again, probably one of my favorite shapes is a little mummy. Poltergeist is Palo Santo, powdered donuts, and Danish butter cookies. The two of these have very similar vibes, whereas this one, Halloween Nights, has more vanilla, sugary, confection vibe. Poltergeist has more of a definitive bakery note. Like, I really do get a layered bakery scent. And... Bakery Palo Santo blends I have seen done before, but I don't see them done with really anything more than like a sugar cookie or a sugar cookie royale. So I really wanted to give you a little something different. Like I wanted to give you a different style of cookie and I wanted something to go with that cookie being the powdered donuts. And I do, I really do pick up a powdered sugar note, which is very hard to get done. It's kind of like whipped cream. Whipped cream can be done in a way that it's blended in with the scent and you can kind of pick it up but very rarely is it a very prominent star of the show type of scent i love this because i can smell the powdered sugar on those donuts it's almost like a cake donut kind of vibe but then you do get that crunchy buttery cookie at the end and that palo santa just gives it just a little something different that makes you wonder what is what's in the scent you know it just gives you a little something like this smells just different enough that this is gonna have its own special place in my heart. And I, that probably doesn't make a whole bunch of sense, I guess, but it just doesn't, it doesn't leave you wanting more, if that makes sense. This is everything you would need in a bakery Palo Santo blend. And I adore it. So I'm gonna try and speak just a little bit louder so you don't have to hear it because it's starting to kick up really loud. So here we have Campfire Treats and I love when she does this, the two-tone colors. This one is S'mores, Twinkies, and Palo Santo. I'm going to be honest, this smells like Sheriff Almond Joys. I don't know how, why, what, when, but it straight up smells like Almond Joys. I don't know how it was done. Maybe it's just the chocolatey vibe from the s'mores, but I, I kind of get maybe like some marshmallow creamy notes, maybe. So maybe a better example would be, and this is going to be really obscure, but there's these like Reese's type, like peanut butter cup type candies, except with chocolate it's or not with chocolate except with peanut butter instead it has a marshmallow coconut filling and they use dark chocolate and it's in a yellow package and those used to be one of my favorite things to get this kind of gives me that vibe it kind of gives me that and i know you can get them at places like cracker barrel um i don't know where else you could possibly get them but it definitely has that kind of vibe almost so definitely not what i was thinking it was going to be but for some reason, I really like it. Maybe it's just because I have that scent memory attached to those candies that I used to love, but I don't know. For me, it works. Here we have a cute little ghost, and I saw someone outside my window. This one is Blue Raspberry Cotton Candy in Palo Santo. This one has a more authentic sour blue raspberry, but then it has that sponge sugar, very, very just... Mm, beautiful it's definitely different from her plain cotton candy is in that one has more of a she's a really good cotton candy oil it's more sponge sugar very authentic with hints of vanilla and a slight touch of fruit compared to blue raspberry cotton candy being a lot heavier on the fruity with a slight aspect of vanilla sponge sugar vibes but that palo santo again it just kind of smells like a scented incense a blue raspberry scented incense so if that's your vibe this is going to be for you 
Um, I do like it. It's just, I think this would be really fun to blend with something and I'm trying to figure out what I could put with this. But again, these are all cold stiff impressions. For all I know, when I melt it, it could be perfect on its own. I would never want to blend it with anything, but part of me, at least on cold, wants to experiment with that one, at least just a little bit further. Here we have Enchanted. This one is Downy Lavender Vanilla Type Denim and Palisanto. This is exactly what I want. I want it to smell like you, like a very sudsy laundry scent, but I wanted it to have like a, you made your own custom laundry detergent vibe. And honestly, I, I'm getting that vibe from this. The denim in this, I made sure to do it at least a little heavier because I wanted it to be the star of the show. Um, so mixing it with the Downy Lavender Vanilla and the Palo Santo just kind of give it almost a... For anyone who's ever ordered from Tyler Candle Company and their candles and their like uh, laundry soaps, this is something I would expect to get from there. Very high-end, um, classy smelling laundry. It kind of smells like you opened your washer halfway through the you know cycle and you just smell the bubbles in the laundry. I love it. 10 out of 10. Here we have Sacred Geometry. This is Palo Santo and Honeycomb. Her honeycomb is very wildflower, honey sweet, naturally sweet, floral almost undertones. Specifically like a white floral, white and yellow floral. If you, And I've melted enough florals that you know if something is a white floral or a yellow floral when you smell it. And this just gives me almost like a slight beachy gardenia undertone with the honey. I don't know why, but that's specifically what's screaming to me. This is so beautiful. I love honey in the wax because it just makes things sm like smell natural. I talk about natural sweetness a lot. Naturally sweet things would be something like honey, amber, um, sweet woods, you know, scents. Oftentimes scents like cedar would have a sweet and natural sweetness to them. This smells like a naturally sweet, um, just a honeycomb incense. Like this is again something I would expect to find it like a witchy shop. I love it. Um, very, very relaxing. I would say very meditative. Like if you want something to be going in the background while you're doing your yoga, I personally do yoga, so I might try that and give a more detailed review. But scents like that just put me in such a peaceful state of mind. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. Here we have Fairy Village. I love the angry little jack o' lanterns. Fairy Village is Strawberry Jam, Strawberry Patch, Bath and Body Works type, and Palo Santo. Okay, this one I adore. I love this one. Oh my god. So, I'm going to break it down a little bit and describe the two strawberry oils first so this makes a little bit more sense. So, her Strawberry Jam gives me very much like a fresh picked strawberry almost, except it is toned up in the sweetness department. It has some lemon... Uh, lemon juice undertone just slightly adds a bit of a bright zip to a blend it's very citrusy fresh Then the strawberry patch adds that more traditional uh, Strawberry Laffy Taffy kind of vibe And I don't know which oil is doing this I assume it's her strawberry jam But I get like a slight banana undertone Not like a runs banana, but like a strawberry banana smoothie kind of vibe and that Palo Santo in this is, is definitely the weaker of all you know, the three notes in this, but it does give it almost like a strawberry body care vibe. So, Bath & Body Works has done so many strawberry scents, I don't know what even to compare it to. Probably uh, strawberries and bourbon, strawberry vanilla bourbon, I think, or uh, strawberry picnic. I believe those are both the same scent, um, different years, but it has that kind of vibe to it. So, it just gives me strawberry body care, fun, fruity, flirty kind of vibe so I live for that one and lastly my last one I have to show you here is I love this one Spellman Sunday again orange and black this one just solid that just solidifies it for me this is a blend of cider donut type pumpkin pecan waffles type and Palo Santo when I tell you this scent is probably my favorite I could smell this all day and it's honestly cider donut is carrying this blend so her cider donut is probably the best cider donut I've smelled. I've got, I went really back and forth with this. I went back and forth between really loving her cider donut and really hating it. 
And I don't know why, but every now and then it gives me a weird undertone. But now that it's been sitting for a little while, I don't get that scent. So it has gone back to me loving it. So I think it's going to stay like that because it's been a little while since I've picked up on the nastiness. It really does smell like a homemade cider donut dough or batter almost. Or you just put it in the grease and it's almost, it's just starting to cook rather. Um... You do get that caramel apple, mulling spices, cider, and then again, you get that greasy, almost bakery note. It's just starting to cook in the oil, so you still get some of the, um, it has a very wet bakery vibe. Then the nutty maple syrupy sweet cream pumpkin pecan waffles comes through and adds another layer um, of depth and kind of strengthens the cider donut. It doesn't leave it out. It definitely helps tone down the intense apple cider vibe in this. It helps tone down some of the spiciness to it as well. And that Palo Santo just kind of, I really love, I'm finding Palo Santo with apples and uh, different kinds of cider mold spices scents. And then it just works. It helps give it a more authentic cider feel. So, I mean, that's all I have to say about that one, at least on cold. So this is my haul. Um, I'm gonna try to post this as soon as I can. Internet's acting a little wonky here, so it might take me a little while, but um, this is a haul. So we, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that we, I do believe we still have some full samplers on the site. So if you would like to purchase everything you've seen here, um, it should be $30 on the Animate Sense website plus however much it costs to ship to you and your address. But I do believe that she's broken up a couple of the samplers and put them up as ready to ship um, as single sense. So if any one of these in particular sounded attractive to you, but you didn't like the sound of one of them and you don't want to commit to a sampler, now you have the option to buy them as single ready to ship melts. So there's that. Always remember, um, if you are a new customer in it to Nanomix Sense, you've never placed an order um, yourself for her company, there is a 25% off code. I believe it is new to me 25. Um, I've started putting that down below in my description box. So again, if you're brand new to her, you've never tried her company, there is a 25% off, which would be perfect to use on the sampler or any of these sensor rate to ship. So uh, all of her info will be linked down below. She, we also run a TikTok now, so um, feel free to follow us on TikTok as well as Instagram, her Facebook page, and her Facebook group. But I think that's all I have to say. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off here. So if you made it through the whole video, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, wish us luck on the road tomorrow. We leave tomorrow morning at around 10, I believe. And uh, your boy is gonna be all Red Bulled up. So I'm gonna need some energy drinks to keep me awake and whatnot. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing, fantastic rest of your day. Bye.